And then for no particular reason, <laughs> I just want to mine out an entire chunk. It's something that I've never done in actual vanilla survival before, but it's just one of those things that's kind of on my list of things to do. It's probably not going to have any use, but it's going to be a cool thing to have. And this is also where the beacon comes in, because with this, I will be able to get haste too. There we go. And mining out the chunk will be much, much faster. After a few days of mining, this pickaxe is almost broken. We've made it down to level 30. There's still a bit of a way to go, but we first need to repair it. And the best place for that is the guardian farm. I'm also going to add this to here so that I can change these to be splash ones. And then I can just easily do this and start collecting all the XP for my pickaxe. It did not take long to completely mend everything. It would also seem that somehow the machine has completely run out of water bottles. So once I've patched up this floor, I'll fill all of these glass bottles up and start putting them in these chests. And now the machine is back to working exactly as it should do. Let's just do one more to get myself up to level 584. There we go. And it's going to be back to mining the chunk. And I have actually come up with a plan of what I'm going to do with this chunk once it's mined. But you'll probably have to wait until the next episode to see what it's going to be. Turns out mining this chunk has taken me into an abandoned mine shaft. I wonder if there's anything you useful down here. Well, I have found a chest. Okay, well, that wasn't really useful. And here's another one. Maybe a little bit better, but if it's not got a notch apple, I'm not really interested. There's a third chest up ahead, and it has... Wait, how has it got glow berries in? I'm guessing it's because in Minecraft, chest loot doesn't generate until you actually open the chest. So even though these chunks were loaded way before 1.17, it still had 1.17 items, which I suppose is a better way of doing it. But we're definitely going to have to board up this mine shaft where uh, we're not going to be going down there. Although having said that, I, I did just go down there. What I mean is we're not going to be going down there again. Apparently, I've dug a load of strip mines down here and it's causing loads and loads of mobs to spawn. So I'm going to quickly fly away and activate the mob switch. And now that mobs can't spawn, I can start lighting these tunnels up. It's quite a bit of time, but I've lit up every of these top tunnels and there's quite a few bottom ones. I think I'm going to do those as well. Kind of got completely lost and I've just realized I'm, I'm basically just placing torches for the sake of it at this point. Like, there's all these dark caves below me anyway, so I, I don't really know why, you know. If I was going to light up all those tunnels, I might as well light up all of these, and I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to try and find my way out of here. And this area does look familiar. Yeah, I've already been in that chest. And that chest as well. And over there was the third chest. So by my calculations, the way out should be, yeah, right here. Now it's back to mining for me. Although apparently I've lost the haste because we're too low from that beacon. Since there is still quite a bit of mining left to be done, I think the best thing I can do is move the beacon down lower. Here is the new beacon all ready to go, which means it's now back to mining. At long last, I'm starting to see bedrock. And look at that. We've found some diamonds. Isn't it amazing that I had to mine an entire chunk just to find a few diamonds. A few diamonds that I'm inevitably just gonna end up burning. Because remember guys, diamonds are for peasants. And I think I've now mined every mineable block in this entire chunk. A pretty cool achievement, but for the rest of my plan to work, I would need to get rid of all the bedrock, and I'm not gonna do that right now. Looks pretty cool from up here as well. It just looks like my world has glitched or something and deleted a chunk.